Look around your classroom. Consider the large windows and the whiteboard at the front of your room. Now rewind more than a hundred years to the year 1893, the year Palo Alto schools began. Young men from the surrounding area constructed Palo Alto's first schoolhouse in just four days. The first school was a simple two-room log cabin featuring a wood stove for heating. The school consisted of 80 students and two teachers, one of whom served in a teacher-principal role. Before Palo Alto built its own school, it relied on the neighboring city, Mayfield, for schooling. Students from Palo Alto had to walk the two-mile journey every morning to attend because families in the area realized how important it was for children to learn to read and write and become more knowledgeable about the world. In 1894, when the first school became too small for the growing Palo Alto population, in part a result of Stanford University, a new two-story six-room schoolhouse was built for 240 students on Channing Street. While Palo Alto now had the beginnings of a school district, it lacked a public high school. Ms. Zaki, a courageous single parent, decided to build one using her own money. She began a small private school that cost $6 a year, so students could continue to learn and possibly go to college. The district constructed dozens of new elementary schools, as well as Palo Alto High School, Pali, in 1918, Palo Alto's first junior high school, David Starr Jordan, in 1937, Elwood P. Coverley Senior High in 1956, and Henry M. Gunn High School, Gunn, in 1964. During the 50s, when many families moved into the area, Palo Alto built one to three schools a year. Twenty years later, the situation changed, and there were fewer children, so many schools closed. Palo Alto Unified School District serves about 12,000 students and has two top-ranked high schools, three amazing middle schools, and 12 awesome elementary schools. 